Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. My name is Tennis Bubba 13 and today we're going to be tackling the Earth Temple. Alrighty. And not to mention we have also a fellow partner with us, uh, Medley. Um, as you can also see we got the um, bracelets from the last episode which allows us to lift heavy objects. We're going to be using those for quite a bit in this temple. Uh, but for now, let's get started. So usually, uh, two things we can do with Medley is either have her fly with us, and we can throw her, and she can fly. But, you know, might as well just do that, since there's a big gap in the beginning. And then we're going to be carrying Medley throughout most of this temple. Yeah, she is going to be actually very useful. Um, I really like her as a character. Um, so let's go ahead and take out some of these, these darn little moblins that I hate so, so much. There you go. Master Sword just makes things <laughs> easy. Okay. There's a couple more. I think we, it's best to just take these guys out first. So let's get rid of this guy. Luckily, there's only like three in this room, so it's fine. It's fine and dandy. Now, for most of the temple, uh, we're gonna be taking control of Medley with the song that we learned in the Tower of the Gods And I think she's probably gonna tell us all about that once we head upstairs here She's gonna probably make a quick note. Yep I'm Not very confident, but I think I should try to fly I'll fly where you tell me to just tap a to keep me airborne Okay, whenever you're ready just use the wind waker to guide me Yep, uh, like I said or like she said uh, we're gonna take control of that so this first part right here we're gonna have her we're gonna jump while we're carrying her so that way we can fly across because in order for me to open this door there's two switches here uh, I'm gonna step on this switch then it's time yeah I can see if you um, do that then it's not gonna work so we're gonna play the song that we learned the command melody and um, for now, we get to finally control Medley and see how she plays. So she's kind of just like Link, but like normally she would, you know, run and act like Link. But now we can press A to fly, and then B to let go if you really want to. We gotta keep track of the meter on the top there. That way, she can't really fly forever, but still. Uh, let's go back down this way, because now we open the door. And release, which is ZR. Kind of like the seagulls, but still. Alright, done with this room. This uh, temple here is probably going to take a little bit longer than I expected because now we're in the, the final dungeons, actually. And these are going to get a little bit tougher and longer. So, in here we got a bunch of choo choos. Only this time here, you see, we got some different choos. These purple chews can't be destroyed unless you do something to them, uh, which is why there's like a beam of light right here in this area. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just take out my fire bows. There's a little pot right there. Yeah, see, so if we try to lure them into the light... Oh, come on now. Just get in the light already. These guys are not gonna like the light, and that's basically why this temple I kind of like. It's sort of got this um, spirit temple vibe to it. You know, having the whole lights and uh, spirit stuff, I guess, if you want to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can also stun them with the hammer too. That's kind of cool. But the, again, we can't really hurt them, so we gotta just smash it with our hammer. I think you can also just throw them and toss them and just that will break. So, a few ways to kill them, but... You know, those are those guys. They're kind of annoying. Especially for certain parts of this area where we're going to have to allow them to be switches. And, or have them be on switches while we travel and stuff. It's just complicated stuff. Okay, let's blow this down. And it's also cool, too. We can uh, burn these little, I guess, capes. Or whatever you, want, whatever you want to call them. And those will just burn. They reveal some stuff there, but... Uh, Obviously, we can't really grab them unless Medley flies up there and gets them, but still. So another cool thing, too, about Medley, uh, we're going to control her. And then she's actually going to take roll of um, her little instrument thing. Because, that's right, she can reflect light off of her instrument. 
and pretty much acts like a shield. So that's cool. So we can pretty much just shine lights at these little statues. They, um, I guess they, like, disintegrate once they do that. <laughs> it's also worth, too, that she can't really grab items, I don't think. So, any, anyway. So we shine the light on the treasure chest, and that will, um, allow us to reveal that little thing right there. And I think we're done with medley here. Now with that, we can just go ahead and grab our magic meter, because we need some. And in this treasure, uh, we get, I think this is, I believe, the map. So, pretty cool. We get the map first and foremost. There we go. And then, um, once we get the compass, I think someone's going to tell us that um, Medley is going to be peering on the map screen. So, if you get lost or if you just, like, separate, then you can know where she is. Which is, I don't think they revealed that. Maybe they did. I think they might have talked about that in the GameCube version, but oh well. So, let's uh, go ahead and play with Medley again. Control the lights. And we can reveal this. Those little cloud things, uh, if Link touches that, you're gonna not be able to use any items or you can't use your sword or anything. So you have to, you can obviously get rid of that by just going into the light. But I, we need to hit this little, little switch right here. Now open the door. And then pay attention to that little thing right there in the middle. Um, it looks like a moon kind of. But um, with the light that she's reflecting on. And there's going to be something else that we're going to get that also ref reflects light. <laughs> um, we're going to come back into that room later on. But for now, looks like we got some bobbleheads to take care of. Little bobbles. I think we can also just... Yeah, we can hit them with our sword, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's grab some stuff here. Didn't feel like I need it, but still. Um, in this room, let's grab Medley one more time. And um, there's a block up there. And I think there's a treasure right there, here too. But we can't get it unless we have some light. But in this room, let's go up and push this block back. Because that will open up a little crack spot for light to appear. There we go. There we go. So let's uh, have Medley. Okay, now she's going to tell us. Seems like my instrument is Karen can reflect light. Yeah, we already figured that out. <laughs> I think my instrument can be useful. Yep. So yeah, like I said, she's going to tell us that her instrument can reflect light. And Pretty much if you figure that out by like the beginning of the temple, then I don't know why she doesn't tell you that <laughs> Like right when we were in that in that room, but still Oh well So now um, Let's get rid of that and I think we're pretty much done with her That little room right there uh, if you have medley step on that switch and then go inside there You can't really do anything in there unless you get the dungeon item So I'm not sure I think that also reveals like a whoa. Hey, Oh geez, Floor Masters. Okay. There's a bunch of these guys. Um, sometimes what they like to do is grab your partner, and then they just drag them somewhere else in this temple. But if you get dragged, you're going to get taken to that one room where uh, those that huge moon thing was. So, yeah. But be sure to watch out for the Floor Masters. <laughs> and um, I think we're all done with this room. I'm trying to remember. I think there's like a tr uh, treasure in that one room. Uh, that we can't do. It's probably just like some special like spoils items or something like that. I don't feel like doing that because that's not where the treasure maps are. Um, so let's get rid of these guys again. Let's see. What, oh yeah, let's take out Boomerang because we got green shoes. Green shoes are very useful. Uh, or the Boomerang is very useful against green shoes. Let's get rid of that. And you notice there's two switches here. All right. Two switches, yep, we got some purple chews to manipulate. Um, but however, there is a little um, light showing in one of those little drape things. Let's see, I think we need to switch to our fire arrow and um, shoot that thing. That will reveal the light, allowing us to turn these little chew guys into stones. And of course, we gotta take care of two of them because there's two switches. We gotta take them right onto the switch. There you go. I think also if you mess up, there's they have more 
uh, purple chews to respawn, so that's good. And I think also too is if you ever mess up or if you fall down, just push this block right here and you should be back to where you need to be. So let's do that I guess just in case. I think that also just unlocks this door right here if you push this. There you go. Alright. Moving quite along here and it's only been 10 minutes. Sweet. <laughs> Alright. Um, there's a floor master here. I gotta... Whoa! There's also a little command thing too. Um, like right as soon as he grabs you I guess. <laughs> Well, you can just simply take them out normally. But um, in this room, we gotta push this block right here. Um, and then there is basically a little switch there. And that reveals more light! Reveal the light to me! Alright, so we gotta take care of some chores here with Medley. Medley, come over here and use your shield. Woman, make yourself useful. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was, just, that was a little bit uncalled for, but still. Um, also, too, um, there's these little symbols things on the walls you can reflect your light on, and that will also destroy this. And that also reveals a little pot right there that you can warp to, in case you need to. Which I don't think I rarely use these, but th there's only the only times I ever use those is that if I miss, like, a treasure, like, either getting the treasure maps or such, but... It's cool because, like, the treasure maps are, like, in this, uh, area are pretty much in close to the same areas but that's cool we'll be getting those a little bit later so let's push this block now I think that basically reveals another treasure that we can use and now let's push this block right here oh, link excuse me link this is no time for you to roll into blocks okay so by pushing this this allows us to get back up to this spot I think that also um, unlocks this door right here, too. There you go. That's pretty fine and dandy. Uh, but inside this treasure, I think it reveals the compass? I want to say? Okay, well, we get the compass here, and I think um, Medley, or not Medley, the, the King of Red Lions is going to tell us that, hey, Link, do not worry about straying away from Medley in the depths of the temple. Because, just relax and open your dungeon map. It'll show you Medley's location as well, so you can easily confirm her whereabouts. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but like, where like Link's face is at, right behind there, there's Medley's face. So, um, I'm pretty sure they did that in the GameCube version as well. Oh, hey, some fairies. Let's see if I can grab some. I'm pretty sure uh, I could... Oh, come on, really? Well... I guess I'm doing this... Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot you can still call her, but... <laughs> I I guess I'm doing this dungeon without fairies again. <laughs> Pretty risky, consider this is hero mode. Oh man. I should just, like, not use fairies at all. Okay. Some more moblins, and this time we got some new enemies. I think these are Poes. These little guys here cannot be hurt unless we do something. Um, but... Let's see, get some goodies. I'm pretty sure you can't hurt these guys. Yeah. Like, you can't even, like, do anything to their little lantern thing. But, uh, in order for me to kill those guys, we need to have someone who has a light shield, aka Medley, um, come up here and reflect light on those little mo- uh, po guys. And believe it or not, because the these guys are weak to the light. So let's, uh, shine our light on one of the pose here and they become solid all right so they're no longer ghosts now we can finally kill them oh yeah there we go we're gonna have to do the same thing too with this guy it doesn't really do anything to the temple or to this room here but like it's, it's always nice to just kill these guys because they're rather annoying <laughs> they are much rather annoying indeed okay medley do your magic, or just shine your shield, and that's it. Okay. Um, and there's also, too, um, a, a little spot right there. We can't really do anything yet until we get to the dungeon item. And then I think those things up there has some sort of... Tr oh, we can do something here. All right. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Um, but those little stone things uh, behind there's a, there's a treasure. 
and but we're not gonna get it I don't think in this part um, let's just grab medley okay we can just drop down <laughs> um, and then in these two rooms right here one of them is a mini boss fight but we can't really get in there because we don't have the key let's see if we can get some okay good I need some magic all right let's grab medley one more time and I think in this room there is a new enemy too which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> uh, let's just go in, in these and open these little coffins. And hey, this guy, it's a redead. <laughs> but um, the best way to take care of these guys, if you can, is jump attack, like right before the eyes turn red. Because if you do this, yep, he freezes you in fear, I guess, and then he tries to like grab on you. And you know, typical Zelda games, they latch on you and like bite you or I don't know what they do it's rather weird <laughs> but uh, re-deads are still kind of a nuisance um, but let's see here we did that there's the key right over there and huzzah now we can go into the other room and uh, pretty much I think what I'm gonna do in this episode is cut it a little bit short not like I'm not gonna like cut it like right here but I'm gonna cut it until we finish getting what we need in the next room because this dungeons kind of long I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna eventually do the whole thing in one take I might just split it into a couple episodes but we'll see let's just go ahead and fight this mini boss here which of course is probably a a familiar foe that's right we got some style foes let's go ahead and take care of this guy here normally because there's one way to defeat this guy also, you gotta watch out, too, because he doesn't, like, really flinch. He just kind of, like, takes it, and then, like, he just goes crazy. So we gotta break him up, and um, if we spin attack a few times, that will also kill him much quicker, because if you don't kill him fast enough, he's gonna, like, respawn himself and become full again. Alright, so there's two more of these guys. I'm actually gonna show off another trick. Which I'm pretty sure most people know like this trick, but in case most people don't know or have not played this game, there's several we uh, ways to defeat him. But uh, let's uh, pull out our bombs here, our 99 bombs, <laughs> and we can actually blow this guy up really quick if he does it. There we go. Up, oh, come on, get back down here. There we go. I'm not sure if he's gonna. Yeah. If you take too long, he does this. Luckily, these guys move really slow, so they don't have to... I don't have to worry about, like, fighting both of them at the same time. What? Come on, now. <laughs> Get a little bit closer in the range. There we go, right there. The only thing about this guy, too, is, like, he bounces all over the place. And it's really hard for me to hit him. But I think you can also like hit him with your arrows, and I think you can also hit him with ice arrows. That's another way of killing him. But, there we go. Done with that. And that reveals a dungeon item. Oh yeah. Alright, let's grab a couple goodies left here. Some arrows, magic, you know, most of those things I don't need, but whatever. That's how I play Zelda. I just grab everything, even though I have everything. <laughs> Alright, so, in this little chest, we get... A familiar item, the Mirror Shield. The shiny surface reflects a beam of light, holds the art to shield. And it's cool because it plays exactly how it should play. Like in Ocarina of Time. Because <laughs> it looks cool. It kind of matches the, um, the Master Sword here. I like the design. Alright, so, if we reflect our shield... Just like in the spirit temple, this is one reason I love this temple. It has a, it has a, a spirit temple vibe. But guys, I think that's probably going to be it. Um, next time in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we're going to be finishing off the Earth Temple. Um, and then try to get the Master Sword to where it needs to be. There's Medley. I'm just going to leave Medley right there. So of course, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.